If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Acer. In fact, this, this Acer S7 has been my daily driver for years. It's the machine that I use for wood processing, for web surfing, and yes, even for video editing. I love it because it's small, because it's light, because it's powerful, and because it's got battery life unlike any other notebook I've ever had. Of course, this is old news. Acer has something new in this. This is the Swift 7, the new hotness in lightness. Now, this is an i5 processor, an aluminum unibody, nine plus hours of battery life, all in a computer that is sexier than sexy. This is definitely going to be the choice for those professionals who want power on the go and a little bit of style to go with it. But then there's the other side of the Twit Army. There are those folks who don't care about thin, who don't care about light. What they want is crazy powerful. And folks, I don't get to often say this, but we found the most powerful notebook on the planet. I'm speaking with Steve from Acer, who's going to show us what a curved 21-inch monitor can do for your gaming experience. Steve, we love the Predator. Thanks. Me and my co-host, we, we've tested Predator notebooks, Predator desktops. We love the line. We love the styling. But what on God's good earth <laughs> made you make this? Sure. So uh, we really wanted to focus on design. We know that we need to differentiate our brand from the competition. And it is there's heated competition right now in the gaming market. So what we did is we took all of our engineers and design team and we threw them in a, in a room and we locked the door and we said, you can't come out until our jaws are on the floor. So what they came back with was this, the Predator 21X. This is the world's first notebook that has a curved display. 21 inch, 21 by nine aspect ratio. This is the absolute most immersive gaming experience you can have today on the market. Now, we have seen the Predator 17. It's actually one of my favorite. In fact, I bought one after I reviewed it because I needed power on the go. There are a couple of things that people will notice about this. The first sure. is this beautiful 21-inch curved monitor. Yeah, that's a little bit of an eye-catcher. Yep. But then the overall design, this is really a desktop replacement. There, there have been desktop replacements in the past, but this is the full-size keyboard, all the peripherals, all the ports that you would expect out of a Predator desktop. How did you squeeze that into this form factor without destroying your power slash thermal heat budget? Sure, so it was really difficult. Um, in order to combine uh, this, I mean, this is, this is a monitor. It's eye tracking. It's Core i7, 7th gen, by the way. Uh, two NVIDIA GTX 1080s running in SLI. I mean, this is desktop power, desktop components. Um, including monitor, mechanical keyboard. We need a serious cooling system in order to run all of these components, which we will also be overclocking, of course. So in order to do that, we have five fans inside, including three of our metal Aeroblade fans. And you can actually see one of the Aeroblade fans running here in the device through this, this beautiful glass display window that we've included uh, for fun. I mean, it looks, it looks beautiful. Um, with this cooling system, we are definitely going to have best in class performance and this will certainly rival any of the top end gaming desktops that you may have so while this may look like a, a very large device uh, for a laptop it is going to be that entire gaming setup so we're very very happy to be to be able to take all of these intense components and pack them into one device We've got a really geeky audience, and some of them are going to go, oh, wait, 1080? No, don't you mean 1080M? But there is no mobile part for, for the 1280. Sure. So what's happened is uh, NVIDIA has now, uh, with their launch of the 10 series, they've removed the M from their marketing. So we now have the 1080 and the 1080 desktop and, and mobile GPU. The reason they did this is because the power is now on par. There's maybe a, a few percent difference due to, you know, various uh, crazy technical things. But uh, essentially, you are going to get the same performance in the game. So what that means is that if your gaming desktop has two 1080s in SLI, this also has two 1080s in SLI. So unless you're overclocking, this is going to be more powerful than your desktop. One of the things that people will notice whenever they talk about a powerful notebook is that uh, it seems more and more that we've just taken a gaming desktop and we've slapped a monitor onto it and we've made it portable. But as, as you've already mentioned, it's a bit more complex than that. I mean, when you're trying to put all those components into a really tight space, you are going to have to make sure that you deal with things like cooling and things like, like power variants as, as you've taken all the components that go into both of those systems and to put it into a small package. So my question to you is, 
where does this go next? This, this almost feels like one of those concept cars that you will never be sold, but this is actually making it to the market. Right. Where can, can Acer next te tell, uh, take this? Is it going to be three-way 1080s? It's, is, are you going to put, be putting two, core, uh, two processors with eight cores each into it? What is next in the Predator lineup? Sure. So right now we can see clearly that the trend is immersion. That's what the demand is right now in the gaming market. So this represents the most immersive experience we can provide. So we've included new technology such as eye tracking. Now, in the future, we expect a lot of these components to become smaller and more efficient, which means we can take what is now not super portable and make it more portable. So that's one way we can push it. But we also want to make sure that we leave space to, um, to design products that include the best of the best and the highest end components. So... We've, we've done the best possible notebook that we can do, so we may want to stay tuned um, to see what Predator may have to offer in other categories. Oh, thanks. Thanks for being cryptic, and also thanks for making me watch my email box for the next month, figuring out what that is. Okay, brass tacks, there's going to be people who want this. Pricing and availability. Sure. So we haven't announced official pricing yet. We will do so um, towards the end of the year when pre-orders become available. So you can look, uh, look for it around holiday time frame. We will be doing pre-orders through our official Acer store. And if they want to find out more about the Predator lineup, all of the Predators, both in uh, desktops, in notebooks, and in monitors, where can they go? Acer.com backslash Predator. Steve, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you for uh, sharing this with me and letting me take it home. It'll be, uh, oh, yeah. This should just fit into my carry-on luggage. And, folks, if you're looking for power, you don't need a notebook. You need a Predator. <laughs>